In this video then, I want to have a look at how the pilot can manually feather the propeller uh, in the event of, uh, of an engine failure. So let's assume here that our aircraft is flying along and it's in the on-speed condition and, and everything is fine and the um, engine is turning and the pumps are, the governor pump is pumping oil in. We're in hydraulic lock, so oil can't get out. So stop the pressure building up. The pressure relief valve will open and oil will just drain back here into the engine line. So everything okay. And then let's assume that the engine fails. There would have been a fire and then we have to cut the fuel. Uh, and the master warning light uh, uh, comes on. So the let's assume the fuel has been cut to the engine. The engine is going to stop, and when the engine stops, uh, the centrifugal force on the flyweights will reduce, and the flyweights uh, will collapse. Now, what we want to do is we want to allow the the oil in this single acting propeller. We want to allow it to drain back into the engine. So we need to actually lift the pilot valve up. So normally, uh, when um, we want to do do that, we would need to bring the condition lever back to the feather position. So it's going to come back here, go beyond the uh, the ground range, and in here into the feather position. Okay. So when the pilot moves the the condition lever back to the feather position. That lifts the pilot valve up. The oil in the cylinder can now drain all the way back into the engine. And to allow that to happen, the feathering spring is going to push the cylinder back. Push the cylinder back until the cylinder hits the, the feather stop. When that happens, the um, propeller has reached the feather position and there should be zero RPM. The, feather, the, feather, the propeller shouldn't be rotating at all. 